Oh, yeah. There we go. Josh, uh, do you uh, consider yourself a mean person? A mean person? No. Because yeah, you play quite mean. I just didn't know. <laughs> That's a, a key thing of especially offensive line play is uh, being a different person on the field than you are off the field. There are plenty of talented offensive linemen who have the size and the athleticism and the feet and the strength that don't have that mindset that you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Where did yours come from? Um, I don't know. That's a good question. I think, um, you know, when when I was little, even and played football when I was little, my dad always kind of taught me that, you know, taught me how to be on the field and then you know how to how to attempt to be a good person off the field as well. So that's just something that my entire life has been taught. Do you think the offense you played in in high school and growing up helps you develop that kind of playing style as well? Yeah, I think so. I mean, you kind of have to be, right? I would think so. Yeah, I think so. Front row right, Bill from the dispatch. Yeah, Josh, um, your transition has looked pretty seamless uh, from the outside. Has it been pretty seamless? Um, no, uh, not at first, uh, for sure. You know, I think uh, I had the, uh, you know, I had a, a full year my sophomore year, or a true sophomore year, retro freshman year, I guess. Uh, to develop, um, and, and that year was huge for me. Um, I think, you know, obviously as a redshirt freshman, not winning that starting spot, uh, I was I was upset and 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 you know angry, uh, you know, just because I wanted it so bad. But looking back on it now, I probably wasn't ready for it. Um, and this year, the, first of all, did that give you extra determination this year when you knew the job was open? It was competition. Absolutely. Yeah. How did you Absolutely. approach it? Um, I just approached it like I had something to prove and something to earn every single day, and I did. Um, and, and that's how I approached it every single morning. You know, it was on my mind before practice, and I wanted to make sure I didn't let it slip. Far left, Lori from 610 WTVN. Your uh, offensive line didn't have a lot of time to come together because um, mm -hmm. you weren't together in the spring. Right. How do you explain how well you guys have been able to mesh with, yeah. with given that? Uh, I think with the time we have spent together, um, you know, we've just come so close. Even Jonah, you know, you know, getting here so much later than everyone else, we've just had, you know, we spent a lot of time together. I think camp was huge for that. Uh, you know, I mean, we you have no choice but to spend all day together for a good two weeks straight. Um, I don't know. We just are, are a group of guys that click well together. And what do you guys do when you hang out? How, how do you use that time to bond? Yeah, we, I mean, a number of things, you know. Uh, we went out to to dinner a couple of weeks ago. We, you know, just hang out, you know, a lot of times get here early and just, you know, eat dinner together after practice. It's just all the time we're doing stuff together. Uh, front row right, Austin from Letterman Row. Josh, how much more comfortable or confident, whatever word you want to use, are you now than week one? Uh, significantly. Significantly. I was, I was, confident and, and comfortable I would say week one but you know there's still a lot of questions I hadn't answered for myself yet um, that uh, I'm just a lot more comfortable now after having experienced you know the first half of the season I know we, we talked about this at the Rose Bowl that there's this tradition at the position and the responsibility being in the middle Do, could you have fully grasped how challenging maybe that position is and being in the game until you actually got out there last month as a starter? Um, no, you know, things happen so fast in the games. And I think one of the hardest things about center and about me as a player is I wanted to, I always wanted to get it so right, which is one of the things I struggled with. You know, like I, like I mentioned my redshirt freshman year is I wanted it to be perfect. And I think accepting that it's not always going to be perfect and going fast and living with, you know, the call I make and what I do uh, has helped me come a long way, especially even in this last month. You know, in a game, it's not going to be perfect. I'm not going to have time to say what I want to say all the time. I just got to go with it. So. Did I miss anyone? Question wise? Okay. Uh, third row left, Dan from the Atlanta Warriors. Josh, Kevin Wilson last week, when he was asked about you, he said you played real good about three different times. I mean, how does that feel to know that you've gained the trust of your teammates and your coaches at this point? Uh, it feels amazing. It feels amazing. Um, you know, that trust is everything. And that's, you know, trust is why, you know, we're 6 and 0. Trust is why, I think. Our offensive line is playing so well right now. Is you know we all trust each other. And, uh, 
Harry Miller behind you seems like another guy who's gotten a lot of praise. Just what have you seen from his growth so far this year? Yeah, he's done he's done a great job. He's been super consistent, which as a freshman is something that's really hard to do. Um, you know, and then obviously from the mental side of the game, he's doing an incredible job for a freshman. I mean, stuff he shouldn't be able to do, he's doing. Uh, front row middle, Joey from the dispatch. Coach Day was saying Northwestern's defense is tough to they make you fight for every yard basically. Mm -hmm. Um from watching them on film, what makes them tough to <clears throat> tough to go against? Yeah, they have a good scheme. Um, and if you don't know what you're doing, it can be very confusing as an offensive lineman um, and especially as a center. Um, and then, you know, they're, they're good. It's not just their scheme. You know, their, their players are good. They returned a couple guys from, you know, last year's Big Ten championship game team. Um, so they're, they're a good defense. And, you know, they're, they're definitely going to make a scrap for yards. Does anybody stand out to you from their defense? Any players? Um, their two interior guys are, are tough. I can just tell by watching them. They're, they're strong, big guys. Josh, hearing Dan do his impression of Kevin Wilson, does anybody on the offensive line do an impression of Stud? Oh, Stud? Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> Never. Fair enough. Bill, did I miss you? No, you got it. I'll ask another one if you want. Front row right, Bill. Would you like to try? Okay. Um, just how satisfying has it been to be part of this line and, and to know that what you thought you could be, you are being. Yeah, uh, it's been extremely satisfying. You know, I think there were so many question marks about our offensive line coming into this season. You know, four new starters and one of, you know, one returning starter, one of which who was, you know, hurt at the end of the season last year. Uh, so, so just how we've how far we've come and 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 how we're doing has been so satisfying. For you coming from a wing T offense in, in high school. Could you describe the, the progression as a pass protector for you? Yeah, it was a long one. It was a long one. You know, I had so many bad habits that were just natural and that aggressive offense that uh, I had to break, and it took a long time. And, you know, I'm still working with it. It's not, it's not something that I'm ever going to have to stop working at. Um, but it took a long time. And I, wouldn't, I wasn't comfortable with my pass pro until probably about halfway through last season. Thank you. Guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe below to get the latest videos from Letterman Row. We got Letterman Live. We've got the practice report. We got rapid reaction. Hey, and you know we got Buck IQ with Zach Bourne. For sure. We got recruiting breakdowns with Berm. We got whatever you need. Ohio State football and Ohio State athletics. We've got you covered here at Letterman Row.